What's up guys? Well, <clears throat> today I have a battle box here. Um, unfortunately, I have the flu. Yeah, I feel absolutely horrible. Um, but, you know, I got to press on. I got this in the mail, so I got to open it. Got to check it out. Um, I'm super bummed. I got the flu probably three days ago, maybe. The first day, just little symptoms here and there. Not that big of a deal. Second day, felt like I was dying. Just severe, severe body cramps. I felt like, <laughs> I felt like the guy from uh, Full Metal Jacket when they're beating him with the soap. Uh, just couldn't move. Really couldn't move. Couldn't get comfortable. Uh, severe chills. I've had a fever. Still have a fever now, three days later. So, you know, I'm trying to get through it. There's not much I could do except for wait it out. It's a virus. I'm glad I didn't get the... The big thing, if you guys know what I'm saying, uh, did the, uh, you know, free at-home test thing and it came up negative. Uh, I don't know how accurate those things are. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, wore a mask in public since, you know, the whole thing started. Stopped wearing a mask about maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago, pretty consistently. And here I have the flu. <laughs> but, you know, the flu's always been around. I've had the flu before. It is what it is. Anyway. All right, <clears throat> I have to edit out the coughing. So uh, throughout the video, if you see a little choppy parts, it's because I'm coughing my, my head off. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, so today's uh, little EDC, or at least uh, home EDC, is uh, this uh, Gerber utility blade holder. I forget the, uh, the name, AEB or something. I forget, it's been a while. I've had this for many years now. This thing is awesome. I'm actually gonna do a video on it pretty soon. But anyway, let's go ahead and cut into this guy. Cut the tape. This one's kind of long and heavy. It feels like there's like a sledgehammer or an axe or something in here. I don't really know. It's something that's long. I don't know for sure. All right. Also, I have to say I am severely disappointed because uh, it is 80 degrees outside. The sun uh, went down already. It's getting cloudy now, but uh, I wanted to do this outside. <clears throat> but as soon as I, I started going outside, I started sneezing my head off. There's pollen everywhere, of course. I have seasonal allergies as well. And that was a no-go. I literally brought this outside. I couldn't even get the camera on. I had a sneezing attack. So, unfortunately, we're doing it inside today. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put this on the floor. I'm going to pull things out of the box onto the table. So, it's just a little easier to see. All right. So, first thing in the box, we have a, another... Uh, Looks like blow up pillow. This is Pillow X from Climate. K L Y M I T. Uh, dimensions 15 by 11 inches. All right, we've had many different types of, you know, blow up pillows and neck rests and, you know, things like that. They're all awesome. And uh, you can obviously double them usually as a, a seat cushion if you're not massively obese. Uh, you know, if you're pushing four or 500 pounds, you might not want to sit on stuff like this. Um, I'm not sure if this one is actually rated to be sat on, but I, I can tell you that even at 300 plus myself. I've sat on some of the other inflatable pillows before as a cushion just to check them out and they worked fine It, it totally held my weight, you know uh, The idea was to save them and use them uh, not only in camping scenarios But also like as a stadium seat So if I ever go to a football game or something or a NASCAR event or something like that just makes it a little more comfortable than just the bare aluminum um, You know seat thing. so pretty cool Actually, I jumped the gun here. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, mission brief. This is uh, box 86. All right, mission 86. <clears throat> Yeehaw. We're done with March and ready to kick the door open to spring weather in April. Hopefully that means y'all are ready to gear up and get outdoors from a, for some adventure and practice up on those survival skills. As always, Battle Box is here to help and useful help add useful gear uh, for those excursions and preps with Mission 86. So without any further delay, let's turn the page and see what this month's Battle Box has to offer. All right, so we're going to keep that close by and handy, so we'll reference it when we're done. All right, <clears throat> what is this? Fire starting stuff. I am a huge fan of fire starting stuff. I'm a little fire bug. I know a lot of you guys are as well. So this says fire with a single spark, fire light fuel cubes. All right, there's 12 in here. Fire light fuel cubes. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be pretty straightforward stuff. I will definitely do uh, a test video on these. Not sure when, hopefully soon, but we'll get outside and 
try these. Actually, you know what? I think I've used these before. These look really familiar. I believe we've had these before. If it's the same thing I remember, they are phenomenal and they work really good. I'll have to reference my own videos. Come on. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear me as it is and then I'm crinkling the wrapper all the time. Uh, yeah, I, this looks very, very familiar. You can let me know if you remember, but I think we've gotten this before. But yeah, super cool. Definitely love uh, fire starting stuff. All right, what is this? We have a coupon code for climate. All right, in case you guys wanted to buy direct, you can use the coupon code. All right, we have the Phantom from ATAC. I haven't heard of it. Uh, let's go ahead and rip into it. I'm assuming this is a knife. Feels like a little folder or something up. <laughs> There's no reason to have made that cut because it cut nothing. All right, so let's see what we have here. The Phantom. Come on, box. Help me out here. The mm, interesting. See, like some bronzed hardware and stuff. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. I kind of like it right off the bat. Interesting. A flipper. Is it smooth? Yes, it is. It is smooth. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I don't know the brand. ATAC. Never heard of it before. I do like. It's kind of like a rose gold color. <clears throat> Spacers, hardware, pocket clip, all that good stuff. It says VG10. I'm a fan, a fan of VG10. So, pretty cool. You can definitely dig that. I'll put that off to the side. Love the knives. I know a lot of you guys. That's what you're watching for. You know, some people love all the gear, but some people just want to see what knife it is. I love it all. I love all the gear. All right. So what we have here. We have from Climate the Static V2. Ooh, okay, so here we have a, an inflatable pad. Um, let's see, it says lightweight, easy to inflate sleeping pad. Packs down small. Very interesting. Um, I've uh, roughed it quite a bit in the past when I go camping with Christina. Just usually slap, uh, slept on, you know, like layered blankets. I put like two or three uh, comforters down. Uh, at some point, we did get inflatable mattresses. And I thought the inflatable mattress, like for a camp scenario, would be amazing. I thought, like, wow, this is going to be great. It's like sleeping at home. Not so much. Uh, you know, <laughs> my experience has uh, has not been good. It, it's probably better than sleeping on the floor. But uh, I, uh, it's hard for me to get comfortable in those things. So who knows? Maybe this is something that's better. So very much looking forward to, uh, to trying this guy out. 16.6 .6 ounces or 471 grams. And it's... Uh, Size is 72 by 33 inches, two and a half inches thick. I guess that's when it's inflated. Very cool. It, it's definitely small. You know, it's compact, which is nice. So very much looking forward to doing some camping this summer. And I got lots of new gear to, uh, to try out. All right, let's see what else we got. We have, what is this? Handled. Pot gripper, fuel canister, recycle tool. Fascinating. See back for details. I'm gonna have to. Huh. Okay. All right. So right on top here, we'll zoom in. So there you go for for pot gripper. It's nice to be able to just grab a pot if you're boiling water or something. There's no bail. But let's see how it works with the fuel. Remove cotter pin and pivot pin. Wait, that's step one. Step two. Screw nut onto fuel canister. Okay. Allow remaining gas to completely escape canister. Okay. Press down on the handle to puncture the can. Interesting. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's it. So, okay, I guess. Fuel canister recycle tool. I suppose this is allowing you to literally get all the rest of the gas out of there so you can recycle the metal in the fuel can. Not something I was concerned with before. Didn't think I needed something like this, but uh, I mean, as far as the uh, the gripper for pots and stuff, that's definitely going to get used for that. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Uh, Christina definitely loves using her like, you know, like little mini camp stove, and that takes out a lot of those uh, smaller butane canisters and stuff. So, and we also have a lantern that runs off those uh, butane fuel canisters, as well as you know, little pocket stoves and stuff. So, yeah, I'll try it out certainly in the summer. Pretty interesting tool. All right, what else we have here? We have the M.020 K 
Camping Card Multi-Tool from Tactica. Interesting. I like the ferro rod that's in there. Let's go ahead and bust open this package. Just slide out. No, it doesn't. It's just, oh, okay. There we go. Interesting. I'm missing my ferro rod. Hopefully it's in here. That was my favorite part. Yeah. Okay. Am I... I know I'm out of it because I'm sick, but... Who am I supposed to open this? There we go. There we go. I've been foggy. I'm telling you, the last couple of days, just stumbling around. Forget what I'm doing. I'm just... I'm pretty messed up when I'm sick. Plus, when I don't get any sleep, I'm like a walking zombie. All right. Put that garbage in there. Love the ferro rod. Let's see. Ferro rod looks like it's going to just fit down in here. Nice and snug. I like it. Okay, but the whole thing, that would have been easier if I took it off first, I suppose. Alright, so that is nice. I'm assuming, I mean, it feels like the whole tool has pretty sharp edges, so you could use, yeah. There we go. Alright, don't want to scold my table, but that's pretty cool. I like that. That looks like, it's almost like a chisel grind. Interesting. I'm not sure about like the angle to use it for cutting and stuff, but it is covered by this, which is nice, so not in use. Right, did I put that on right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's open this up and see what's going on. Alright, rope cutter on the inside. Let right, me take it back off. Rope cutter on the inside, okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely sharpened down in there. Tent peg puller. Okay, tent peg puller on the other side. Flathead screwdriver on the corner. Yeah. Little nub over here. Uh, can opener. Ooh, that would be interesting to try out. It looks like it'd be difficult, but maybe not. Bottle opener. Rope tensioner. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that quite a bit. Let's see, what else? And then they're just showing you, oh, there we go. There's a little cheat sheet. You can just pause right there and read through all that if you want. And then obviously showing you how to use that ferro rod. So yeah, pretty cool. You can definitely dig it. Put this uh, off to the side. Yeah, I mean, I like multi-tool stuff. A lot of stuff ends up being <clears throat> uh, kind of gimmicky sometimes. Um, but this one seems like it can actually be pretty useful. All right, hold on, coffin fit coming. All right, I am back. Man, that that hurt my head quite a bit. Uh, every time I cough and get phlegm out and stuff, uh, man, it's brutal. Feels like someone's hit me in the head with a hammer. All right, so we got one last thing, and this is why the box was long. And I feel some accessory poles there or something, so I'm thinking this is some kind of shelter. Some Cali Loha. We've gotten that brand stuff before. And I'm going to go ahead and jump to the paper here to see what this is. Oh, cool. It's a table. All right. Let's go ahead and rip through. Make sure we got everything. We have our camp tool. We have our outdoor element handled. Um, we have our fire starter. We have the table. That's awesome. That's going to very much come in handy. Um, always can use a table, whether I'm camping or not, uh, all throughout summer, which is really good to have that. Obviously, both parts for your uh, your cushioning, your little pillow, and of course your your pad. All right, and then we have our knife. All right, ATAC Phantom. Let me read about the knife real quick here, because again, I'm not familiar with ATAC. Uh, it is time for a really nice EDC folder in the Pro Plus. This month we are featuring the Phantom from ATAC. Uh, this rascal right here is surely going to be an excellent EDC rotation folder. Functionality uh, and style that will turn heads and create envy from your friends. The Phantom features harbor gray anodized aluminum hand handle with copper colored hardware, pocket clip, and lanyard slot. Razor sharp Japanese VG10. Uh, steel blade will amp with ample jimping. Only weighing in at 125 grams. This is surely an excellent lightweight EDC option that not only fits the mold as a gentleman's folder, but is also ready for everyday tasks that you may need from a quality pocket knife. And it looks like MSRP is 110 bucks. So yeah, 
Let's go ahead and grab that knife again. Let's take another look at that before we go. Like I said, I do like how it feels. I like the uh, ergos. All right, I do like the uh, little flipper. It's nice and smooth. It is very, very thin as well. All right, pretty open back design. All right, then we have obviously this, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is also aluminum, this backspacer here. And yeah, okay, I can see copper. Totally see, I said rose gold, but duh, it is copper colored mostly. But yeah, pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and pop that open again. Um, definite jimping down here, jimping on top as well. Not super, super grippy jimping, but definitely it'll help facilitate your grip if you want, you know, something like this to get down dirty. Uh, it's better than it being smooth. Uh, let's see lockup. Lockup is pretty good. A little bit of side to side. I could probably knock that out playing with the pivot. It is a frame lock here. But yeah, interesting ATAC. I'll have to look them up and see uh, see what else they got going on. Interesting. So there you go. There is BattleBox Mission 86. Sorry for the cuts for coughing. Sorry for my hoarse voice. Sorry for the complaining. Kind of a baby when I get sick. To be honest, my wife tells me that, but uh, I don't think that's uncommon. <laughs> I think I think pretty much every guy who gets sick, their their girl or maybe their guy, uh, they'll let them know they're being a baby. But yeah, I don't I don't fare very well when I'm sick, and I I'm brutally sick. I'm glad I don't have COVID. That's nice. Um, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Some people got it and they felt a little funny for a couple hours, and they're good to go. The the full on flu here sucks. Sucks pretty bad. But anyway, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.